Hello, I'm Paul Govarts from the Ear Group in uh, Antwerp, and I'd like to introduce the A psychoacoustic test suite to you. A stands for Auditory Speech Sounds Evaluation, and it is a test suite which has been developed over the years to get a better idea, a more fine-grained idea of how the cochlea is functioning. And the need for this was created, obviously, by the coming of cochlear implants. Now, if you want to know whether a cochlea is functioning well or not, we have to look at the physiological function of a cochlea, which is coding of sound, converting the different components of sound to proper electric code on the acoustic nerve. The components of sound are well known. These are intensity, spectral content, temporal content. And this can be assessed at three different levels, which is detection, discrimination, and identification. And I like to make this distinction because detection and discrimination really relate to the core function of the sensory organ itself, the cochlea, whereas identification does not. Identification is a test or a level of functioning which requires a good functioning of the cochlea plus good central processing of sound, cognition, etc. Now, if you look at the tests which we commonly use in daily clinical practice, then there is audiometry. Audiometry is at the level of detection and it gives us an idea of the coding of intensity and spectral content. And there is speech audiometry, which really is at a very high level of identification. It not only requires good cochlear functioning, but also good central auditory pathways, uh, good auditory memory, good linguistic skills, cognition, etc. So it's very difficult to use the results of speech audiometry to get an analytical report or view on what's happening at the cochlear level. And that's one of the difficulties in using this test in the clinic. Now you see that there are a number of cells in this matrix which remain uh, empty and that's exactly the reason why we try to develop a number of tests to um, bridge this gap between audiometry and speech audiometry. And all these tests together have been assembled into the software application ACE which at this moment is integrated into AudiQueen, AudiQueen, which is a practice management software. And I will show you at the end of this presentation how this integration works. For the purpose of cochlear implant fitting, we have learned that these tests in our hands are most relevant. There is audiometry, speech audiometry, and then for the coding of intensity, we like to use the loudness scaling, and for the coding of spectral content, we like to look at the spectral discrimination task of ACE, which is the phoneme discrimination task. You see that there is no test for temporal coding, and this is because the current cochlear implants, electrical implants, they hardly convey any temporal information. So it's kind of useless to test for it. We do use these tests, for instance, for uh, the assessment of electroacoustic stimulation or of purely acoustic stimulation by means of hearing aids or just in the unaided situation. Now for the fitting of cochlear implants, these are the most relevant tests, and this means that if you perform them all, you will have tested 
something like over 60 different points in this patient. And these points give you quite a fine-grained idea of the cochlear functioning in this patient. Now, in what follows, I will um, show you how this works with AudiQueen, how you can launch the different ACE modules from within AudiQueen. This is the AudiQueen opening screen. AudiQueen is a um, service management program which is run in ENT departments, hospitals, um, audiological services, etc. It links seamlessly to the EMR, the electronic medical record, on the one side and to the peripheral devices on the other side, like audiometers, tympanometers, um, rhinometers, rhinomanometers, um, also endoscopical devices, document scanners, etc. And it then shows the results of the um, collected data in a very elegant, user-friendly uh, way, which allows manipulation uh, by the user. Anyway, Audiquin 3 has ACE integrated, which means that you can run the tests from within Audiquin. So here you see the ribbon, which is the menu. You see the different test types. And suppose you want to do a loudness scaling, then you just select the loudness scaling here and you click on new measurement. And AudiQueen will open the ACE module to measure um, loudness scaling. You select a device to present the sounds and you can start running the test. I will cancel the measurement now. You can also drag and drop the test into the basket of the patient. Then you can put several tests in the basket and then uh, for instance, select the self-test mode, change the settings, and um, have the patient run his test as self-test. I will um, remove them from the basket now because this was just for demonstration purposes. And so as you can see, you can or you recognize the audiometric module, speech audiometry, speech in noise, um, spectral discrimination, identification, and um, detection test. You also recognize loudness scaling. You have ACE localization. Um, and somewhere you must find the just noticeable difference tests. Here it is. So where you see the harmonic intonation, disharmonic intonation, and, and the others. 